All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over keyword research for SEO. So I'm gonna show you how to find keywords for your business, specifically for search engine optimization. So we did a tutorial yesterday about keyword research for pay-per-click advertising. If you're looking for something like that, how to build Google Ads campaigns, um, you can check out that tutorial as well. These will both be helpful for growing your business. So what we're gonna be doing here is starting in Google Ads, I'm gonna be using the Google Keyword Planner along with Uber Suggests, which is a free keyword tool by Neil Patel. So if you go to neilpatel.com slash Uber Suggest, you can use that tool right here. So you can just enter your domain or a keyword. I'll show you how to use this and how I use it sometimes. Uh, so what we're gonna be doing is coming in here first to the Keyword Planner, and I'm gonna show you how to find keywords for your business, and we're gonna import them into Google Drive, and we're gonna be going into Google Drive and going to Google Sheets. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that and find the top keywords for your business. And then basically tomorrow, I'm gonna to make another video about how to come up with a content strategy to start targeting these keywords. So what we're gonna be doing here is coming back to the Keyword Planner and going to find new keywords. So what you wanna do is enter either a URL or up to 10 keywords about your business. So I'm gonna be using two different keywords here. One is beach decor, one is beach furniture, and what I'm gonna click on is next is get started, and that's gonna pull up the top keywords for our business. Um, I'm gonna start with a few filters, so I wanna make sure that I'm targeting keywords that are really relevant for my business. So I'm gonna come here to add filter, go to keyword text, and make sure it contains beach, nautical, coastal, or ocean. So one of those four keywords has to be in each of these keywords here otherwise it's not going to show up at all we're going to click on apply and then the other filter i want to add is i only want to find keywords that have average monthly searches greater than or equal to 200. so i want to try to find some of the top keywords for my business i really want to focus on keywords that people are typing in the most every single month so we're going to click on apply here so that will narrow it down a little bit so what we're going to do next is download keyword ideas. So we click on download keyword ideas here. It's going to prepare a CSV report that downloads directly to our computer. Okay, so we've downloaded this report and we've opened it. So now what we're going to do is clean it up a little bit. Yours should look exactly like this when you first download it. And what we're going to do here is delete these two rows up at the top. So we're going to delete them. And then we're just going to keep the keyword and the average monthly searches. So we're going to come over to this column, delete it, and then delete all these other columns as well. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is come to this column right here with B, go to data and sort descending. So we're gonna extend the selection here so now it'll match the keyword to the average monthly searches. So now we have some of the top keywords to begin with. The next thing you wanna do is come back over to the keyword planner. So you entered a couple keywords here. The next thing you wanna do is maybe search your top keyword right into Google and see what some of the top websites are that come up. Now Wayfair is gonna be a little bit too broad so you wanna find pages or websites that are going to be very relevant to your business. So the first one I'm going to take here is beachdecorshop.com. So we're just going to copy the link address. We're going to come back over to Google ads and we're going to get rid of these keywords here and we're going to enter this website. So beachdecorshop.com, the entire site. And what we can do is click on get results. So it's gonna keep our same filters here, beach, nautical, coastal, and ocean must be in the keyword, and the average monthly searches will be greater than or equal to 200. Found 97 keyword ideas, and we're gonna download these keyword ideas again. Okay, so now we have our next spreadsheet open, so we're gonna do the same exact thing here, clean it up the same exact way, so we're gonna delete these rows here at the top, delete some of these columns that we're not gonna be using. Okay, so now we have keywords, average monthly searches again. So what we're gonna do is take these keywords and come all the way down here. So we have a total of 98 new keywords. We're gonna copy those keywords. We're gonna come back over to our other Excel spreadsheet. So this is the other Excel spreadsheet that we just had. So top 200 keywords for beach decor and beach furniture. And we're just gonna paste these keywords here. Don't worry about any duplicates or anything like that yet. So you can come here to B again, go to data and sort descending, extend the selection one more time. And we'll just make sure this is all centered. So now we're gonna do this with a couple more websites. So what you wanna do is come back over here, go right back to Google. So we have our search here, beach decor. So I'm gonna scroll down a little bit more. So I have cottageandbungalow.com. So I can come here, copy the link address, come back right over to the keyword planner. And again, we're gonna enter this website and do the entire website and do get results. 
So now we found 82 more keyword ideas. And again, there's gonna be some duplicates here. Do not worry about that at all. We're gonna download these keyword ideas. And the last thing I'm gonna do is come up here to the top and take my own website. So you don't have to do this. You can keep entering websites. You can take as many websites as you want right now. So we're gonna take our website, come back over here and enter our entire website. So beachfrontdecor.com, we'll do get results again. And we're gonna download the keyword ideas. So there's another 136 here. Okay, so just gonna finish up here. So we have one more spreadsheet. So we're gonna take these keywords again. So we've done this with a few different websites. We've entered some different keywords. You can continue to look up more and more keywords, but I think this is a good starting point when you're trying to find keywords for your business. So we come back to our main spreadsheet here and we're gonna copy and paste one more time. We're gonna take this, just center it so it looks good. Um, and come up to the top one more time. And we're gonna come to this B and go to data, sort descending and extend the selection one more time. So now we have a ton of different keywords here. If we scroll to the bottom, let's see how many we have total. So we're up over 400 different keywords. We're up to 491 keywords. Now there are some duplicates in here obviously, but I'm gonna show you how to get rid of those using Google Drive. So what we wanna do is just take these two columns, copy them, So you're gonna to come to Google Drive, do new and Google Sheets. So we're gonna open up here. So I'm gonna do beachfront decor SEO keywords. And we'll just come right here to A1 and we're just gonna paste right in there. So now we have a bunch of different keywords and the average monthly searches for those keywords. So great starting point for search engine optimization. And you can see there's some duplicates right here, beach decor, beach decor. So what we wanna do is take keyword, average monthly searches, copy them, come right into D and E. You can also do this in a new sheet if you want. And we're gonna come here and do equals unique. And we're gonna open it and we're gonna take all of these keywords and the average monthly searches. Okay, so it's gonna look just like that. So we have A2 to B491. So we've taken every single keyword and all the average monthly searches. We're gonna click on enter. So now what it's gonna do is pull in all the keywords. It's gonna only pull the unique keywords. So if we scroll down, you can see it's not gonna be quite 490 something, um, but we have a total of 300 keywords, so perfect. So we come to the top here and every single keyword is getting at least 200 monthly searches. So that's a pretty good, Pretty good standard to use. It really depends on what your niche is. Um, some niches get tons of searches. Some niches don't get many searches at all. This niche doesn't get a ton of searches compared to a lot of other ones. So um, it's a pretty good niche with beach decor. So we're gonna center this. So now what we have is a bunch of keywords that we can start creating content for. And what I like to do is actually start to narrow it down even more. Um, you don't have to do this step. So this is a good starting point right here just to have all these different types of keywords. But what I like to do is kind of categorize these keywords. So I'll just come right over here to F, actually I'll go to G, and what I'll do is just start typing in the keywords and it's gonna be different content that I can create. So we're gonna do content up at the top here. So now you're just getting content ideas for different keywords. So you don't have to worry about average monthly searches as much right now, um, cause I'm gonna basically take my content and categorize it and rank it by content, by the overall average monthly searches. So we have beach chairs, we'll do beach decor nautical decor, coastal decor, coastal furniture. Now, something like beach house decor, I'm just gonna keep this right over with beach decor because I think it's very similar. So these are just keywords that I wanna make sure I'm targeting. Um, so we're gonna keep coming down a little bit. So we have beach theme bedroom, beach bathroom decor, beach furniture. So beach furniture and coastal furniture can be pretty similar. You might wanna just keep them on the same page. Um, we have beach themed decor, which again, I'm gonna put over here. So beach themed decor. And as you start going down, one thing you can do is kind of start highlighting some of these keywords that you've already added just to make sure you know where you are. So now we're down to beach themed decor. We'll do beach wall decor, beach wall art. I consider that different. Beach themed bedding. So we have beach rugs, coastal rugs, 
beach signs. So now you can continue to keep doing this. And one thing you might want to do is let's say you use beach signs here. You might just want to consider that part of beach wall decor. Um, so maybe you want to put it over to the side here as well. Um, so that'll help as you're categorizing keywords. Sometimes I'll also categorize them by color. So if I look at something like beach furniture, and then as we scroll down here a little bit, you see beach coffee table. I'll consider them in the same category. So if I take beach furniture, maybe I'll just come over and give it a little bit of a shade. And then as I do beach coffee tables, as I come down, I'll give that the same shade because that helps with categorizing all of these things on your website. So this is one way to really pull a lot of different search engine optimization keywords. Now, the other thing you can do is as you start pulling this content out and you're creating content for these keywords, let's say you take beach rugs right here. We're going to come back over to the keyword planner and we're going to enter beach rugs and we're going to do get results. And then we're also going to come over to Uber suggest and we're going to do beach rugs again and we're going to do search. So this is going to pull up the top keywords related to beach rugs. You might just want to keep your keyword filter at beach for right now if you're separating out beach and nautical, which I would. So we'll just do keyword text contains beach and now we're looking at beach rugs and you can see all the different types of keywords that are related to this one keyword. So beach rugs, beach themed rugs. So again, I would consider those very similar beach themed area rugs. Again, very similar. And then as you get down here a little bit, you can see there's outdoor, there's bathroom, there's runners, uh, there's people looking for a specific carpet. Uh, bath so you can kind of find some different ideas related to whatever it is you're targeting and if we come over to uber suggest here you can see I typed in beach rugs I like to click on keyword ideas here to the left and it's gonna pull up the top keywords related to your business again whatever you type in up here you can export this to a CSV and then what you can do is come over to your spreadsheet and we have beach rugs right here so what you want to do is do something like beach themed rugs beach house rugs Come back over here to uber suggest you can see beach runner rug so maybe you want to add that over here as well and then as you're creating pages for these types of keywords oops, don't want to as you're creating content for these different types of keywords so you can see beach rugs beach theme rugs beach house rugs beach runner rugs you can make sure you have all these different keywords in your content because that's going to help you rank higher in search engines as well so a lot of different strategies here um, ultimately what i try to do is use the keyword planner enter my top keywords up here enter some competitor websites, use some of the filters to make sure you're targeting really the most relevant keywords for your business. So if I'm trying to find keywords for Surfside PPC, I might enter things like PPC advertising up at the top here. I might enter things like Google ads so I could do PPC advertising, Google ads, Bing ads, and do the same exact process and then start to enter some of my competitor websites, pull their top keywords, and that's gonna help me find content for my website um, specifically things that people are going to Google and typing in because that's really where you want to optimize your website for it. You want to make sure that you have pages present for all these different types of keywords and ultimately when you type in something like beach decor at the top here, Google is telling you what they find the most relevant to that keyword. So if you have a lot of different content that's similar to beach decor, so if I do beach living room decor, beach dining room decor, beach bedroom decor, beach bathroom decor, and I link all those pages together, link them all back to beach decor, I create great content on my website. Over time, my rankings are just going to continuously improve. Now, what I'm going to go over tomorrow is how to come up with a content strategy once you kind of keep coming up with all this content here. Um, there's a lot of different things you can do with search engine optimization, but this is really what I like to do is try to find some of the most relevant keywords for my business. And what I would keep doing is just going down. So we're going to have beach comforters here. And again, I like to use colors. Um, that's helpful for me. You can do this different ways. Um, so we have beach theme bedding right here. So I can come here, just make sure I kind of mark, okay, we'll use purple for this one. We'll come to beach comforters and we'll use the same color over here. So you just want to make sure you're keeping things as organized as possible. And then as you're creating categories on your website, you're going to be able to see how everything kind of flows together. So people who are looking for bedding are a lot of times looking for comforters. Sometimes you're looking for quilts, um, but you can make sure that you have everything as relevant as possible. And you know that you've pulled the top keywords for your business and the top keywords from other competitor businesses as well. So I've done this for a lot of different brands. Um, I've done this for different websites and it's always helped me really find what the top keywords are 
and it helps you know what content to create. So when you're scrolling down here to the bottom, you kind of know what's the most popular. And then as you get towards the bottom a little bit, so we'll see beach dishes, 390. So maybe not as popular as some of the other keywords, but it's still relevant. It's still something that you can probably rank for if you start creating a lot of different content related to beach decor. So that's kind of my process with finding search engine optimization keywords, a little bit different than pay-per-click advertising. I like to use a combination of the Google Keyword Planner. I like Uber Suggest because you can enter one keyword at the top here and they're gonna pull up some different keyword ideas right here. You can export them to a CSV. You can just copy them directly to your clipboard and then just go into Google Drive and paste them as well. The other thing they show you is what the top Google search engine results pages are here. Um, so you can see how many visits each of these pages are getting from the specific keyword. So you can see Wayfair is getting a ton of traffic from for coastal area rugs alone. And Wayfair basically ranks high for every single type of home decor keyword you can think of. Um, so what you want to do is continuously optimize your content, keep creating content on your website, and use your search engine optimization keyword list to guide your content decision. So you can start with beach chairs, go down to beach decor next, do nautical decor next. And as you're creating content, as you're doing all these things, you can find the exact things that people are looking for. Um, so this is basically how I find search engine optimization keywords. I like to create a long list like this and then sort of categorize them and make sure I have things all as organized as possible. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. Um, hopefully this kind of makes sense if you're not if you don't have Microsoft Excel if you don't have Microsoft Office the free alternative is called LibreOffice that's actually what I was just using um, so it's just as easy to use you can come to the Google Keyword Planner search your keywords up at the top here export to a CSV if you prefer to use Uber Suggest, you can do that as well it's going to have very similar information to the Google Keyword Planner and just continue to find more and more keywords for your business. I just did this for farmhouse goals, so I'm gonna come over here. If I click on farmhouse goals, you can see it's pretty similar. So farmhouse sink, farmhouse decor, farmhouse table. And as we scroll down, you can see there's a lot of different keywords that I can start creating content around and make sure that I have pages on my website for all these different types of content. Make sure that I have shop pages and blog pages because I think both will help me rank high in search engines. And what it's gonna, I'm gonna be able to create two separate pieces of content that I can link together. So when someone types in that keyword, Google can see my website and say, okay, they have a ton of content related to these types of keywords. And if I start sending traffic to this page, I'm Google right now talking. If I start sending traffic to this page, I know that people are gonna be able to find exactly what they're looking for. So just focus on creating great content every day and use this keyword list to guide your content decisions. So again, any questions, leave them in the comments section. Thanks for watching our video today and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel.